Tanisha and welcome back to another painting video. All right, so this video is gonna be a special one because I passed 1,000 subscribers. I know in my last video, I was thanking you guys for the 1K subscribers, but I wanna thank you all again for supporting me for so long. I really appreciate it. This summer was amazing because I had a lot of time to work on my video and a lot of you like what I was doing. So I'll try to keep doing that even now that school started. But yeah, for this video, I wanted to do a little competition slash contest and then get you guys to participate and paint along with me. And I want to see what you guys can paint. So keep watching this video to find out what is this competition going to be about, what is the prom going to be, and what are going to be the fun and exciting prizes that's going to come with it. And of course, I didn't want to just tell you guys what to paint and just be done with the video. I just wanted to paint something and have you guys watch me or paint along with me. And it's a scene from Kiki's delivery service. I've seen this picture float around on Pinterest so many times and I didn't want to paint it yet because I knew there was a lot of details in it. And I decided to do it for my special 1K video. So I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint and I don't know. It was a lot of fun to paint it, took me forever. My battery kept dying in between, <laughs> but I hope you don't mind the two times it got cut out. And of course, I started by doing a rough sketch of everything. And I say rough because I do not like measuring and this is a house, so there might be a little mistakes here and there but try to ignore that and then just watch me have fun paint it but i started with the sky and then i actually left the paper white for the clouds so i don't have to like keep adding white on it to cover it that helped me make the clouds pop up more and then i started adding a lot of greens everywhere because there were so many trees in this one and i was using a small brush which is why it took me so long because i was adding like each small details with my small brush strokes but I think it turned out good I, I love how each brush stroke turned out and I hope that you guys do as well and to be honest the house was the part that took me a lot of time you can tell because I'm editing this video I'm just like cutting the part I kept just like adding all the brush strokes but it probably took me like an hour to an hour and a half to even do that which is why my battery kept dying in between plus it was super hot on that day but then i finally moved on to the foreground which was adding more green but i had to be more intentional where i needed to place my colors and it was not a struggle because just looking at the picture itself was just so pretty so i wanted to do the same and have it on my sketchbook And of course I always paint when it's the afternoon and slowly the sun started going down and as my window faces where sunset happens it just kept getting brighter and brighter and I was trying to ignore the sun <laughs> but I started getting blinded and I had to close the blinds in the end. And after adding all the greeneries everywhere, I added my little details in the little alley, in the little road that it had, and I finally moved on to painting the flowers. But before we go into painting the flowers, let's just talk about the prompt of my contest and what I want you guys to paint. Okay, now onto our little competition slash contest. I have this little papers 
and I want to be writing some of the prompts that I would like you to paint I have like a couple ideas so I couldn't decide so I decided we're gonna get this box write them down and put it in and I'll just choose so let me just do it with you so the first prompt that I wanted to do was with the theme around forests and then another one that I wanted to do is waterfall and we also have the beach of course because I love the beach and all of this like it just let your imagination run wild and surprise me with what you can come up with with those titles and something with the city maybe because I was doing a lot of nature stuff so now we gotta put some city stuff oh mountains those are cool I like mountains so I'd like to see that and space I don't usually paint space so that'd be cool to see and what else did I have? Oh, I had ocean. It's kind of similar to the beach, but then ocean and beach. You can get different views with those two. So there's that. And can you guess what is my last one? Just, just comment down right now what you think I'm going to be writing. Well, I hope you got it right because I'm going to write, draw me your favorite scene from Studio Ghibli and if you haven't watched it please just go watch one movie and <laughs> draw it from there so yeah we have all of this and I'm just gonna fold them and put it in my little box okay all of them are here so I'm gonna close it and shake it Shake, 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 it. shake, it. shake, 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 and then I will open it. I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna do this and just pick something. Ooh, so your prompt is gonna be painting a waterfall. Woohoo! All right, we got our theme. So what I had in mind is now that you have the prompt, you'll have to paint something using this prompt and then you can either make a video about it and then use the hashtag that I'm gonna be putting in my description and make sure to enter the hashtag that I'm gonna put in the description so I could find it easily. And if you don't have a channel um, and you can't do a video, just private message me a picture of your painting and yeah i'll be able to see your paintings from there the deadline for it would be i'll give you guys two weeks it's like i'm giving you guys an assignment and saying all right kids i'll give you like two weeks and then you better do it within two weeks but i just wanted to give you a little bit more time because i know i'm busy sometime and i can't get to paint so two weeks should be good and make sure you do that before so once you're done submitting your painting either through video or private messaging me on instagram the other rules will be to make sure to click the bell notification button and that you're subscribed to me and make sure to also follow me on both of my insta account i have them linked in the description below and i'm saying both is because i have an art account which i post all my actual painting and make it look all aesthetic and stuff and then my personal account is more like an insight on how i manage my art channel and everything so make sure to do that and that is all for the rules so then after the deadline i would be going for your videos and choosing three winners and the prices would go as follows which is the first one you get to win a 15 dollars amazon gift card and then you will get to choose one of the options below in my description and the second prize would be winning a 10 dollars amazon gift card plus the option below in the description and then the third prize would be choosing one of the options below if you're confused just go read my description i'll explain it better down there but then the option that you get to choose between would be you get to have a shout out to your channel for my next two videos and then the other option would be your channel will be in my description for the next three weeks so yeah 
those are the prices I came up with. I wish I could just give away more, but I'm a student, so I can't give a lot of money because I won't have left for me. And I tried to make it fun by also like giving you a shout out because I want to help you guys as much as I can. And yeah, let's just go back to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification and comment down below what you thought about the video and I will see you in the next one. Allez, bye!